Now to the latest on threats made against Carolina High School. A student posted online saying he would shoot up that school. 7 News reporter Brianna Smith joins us live from the Greenville County Detention Center tonight. Brianna, is the school crediting their safety procedures for stopping this possible attack? They are Diane Jaquise Taylor's bond hearing just wrapped up here at the detention center hours after that threat was posted. Carolina High School says that their quick action, along with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, is what protected their students today. From the moment the school buses arrived, the school day for Carolina High wasn't normal. The student that we have who normally rides that bus but did not come to school today was making threats to come in and shoot to school, basically. The threat forced an immediate lockout, keeping students safe in the classroom and testing procedures that were put in place. It is exactly what we practice. The school says the threats were posted on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and deputies quickly identified who the threat was coming from. They arrested Jaquise Taylor, landing him in front of a judge. Carolina High says that quick arrest is what proves their safety system is working. I'm extremely proud of how our students handled it, how open they were, how honest they were, how they came forward. Um, it's one of those moments where at the end you think about thank you. And hopes that this fast resolution will show students it's important to say something in the future. To understand that everybody's life is valuable and that this was to us and to them a legitimate threat. So there was nothing better to do than come say, hey, have you heard? Do you know? What are we going to do as a school? Because it's not just their individual safety, it's everybody's safety. The principal was very happy with how today went. Taylor did have a bond hearing. Like I said, he received a $2,100 bond. Also, the judge asked for him to go under a mental health evaluation. He won't be able to post for a bond until that is complete. Live in Greenville County, Brianna Smith, 7 News. So, Brianna, this is really a story of what's working as far as those safety procedures. Have parents had anything to say about this? Well, parents were talking on social media earlier about them being contacted. The most interesting thing with talking to the principal today is that they had district officials on campus as well, and those district officials were going to classroom to classroom to make sure kids were okay. And one of those classrooms didn't even let the district official in because they didn't know who he was. They waited for an assistant principal to come and then let that person in. So it just really shows you that what these kids are doing every day and what they're preparing for really sticks with them when a real emergency comes up. Well, Brianna, thank thanks. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate it.